Hey everybody, Fifth Horseman here. Playing more FTL, and we're on the Basilisk, and we're doing it in normal mode, because I think we earned a run in normal mode, at least one, if not <laughs> if not more than. We, we won like three or four in a row in hard mode, and I am very happy about that. But, it's me, and Elvin Lee, and we are going out in the Basilisk to get a win to unlock the Slug Cruiser, which I can't seem to remember how to do, <laughs> how to actually unlock it in the Slug Sector. And uh, the way I like to run this ship is basically uh, if I get a weapon early, switch to weapons. Uh, well, tend to, let's see, um, we're not going to bribe the rebels. We are going to fend for ourselves, attack, and escape. And we are going to go here. Um, or ideally, even better, get lots of crew. <laughs> We're killing these guys too slowly, though. Okay, we killed that one guy. Now we have to trade these guys. These first couple fights are always kind of dodgy. I would like to take one of their weapons out. Okay, I'm pulling my guys back because I don't want to lose them. <clears throat> These first few fights are can be difficult. Especially when they... T oh, that's basically the end of the run. Or the end of this fight, I should say. Because we have to fix our oxygen before we empty oxygen out of the room because two mantises cannot fix the oxygen, and they can't fix the doors. So they've got to get that oxygen fixed, and then the doors fixed before anything else happens. Or at least the oxygen fix. Now what I can do is I can fire another boarding drone, which I think I'm going to do. Ah! Damn it. I don't think I, I wouldn't have fired that boarding drone if I had realized that was going to happen. Yeah, this is this is not the kind of ship to fight. <laughs> Poor mantises. Can't do a darn thing. Okay, go fix that. I think we're going to get out of here. They're just too strong. Okay, you go fix doors while you charge the thing up. Yeah, the, the, the combo med bay ability to damage us despite having our two shields. <laughs> Got it. Uh, I hate this game sometimes. And... Uh, Come on, is the doors fixed yet? No. There you go. Okay, open that. And then you get in there and fix that. Yeah, if, if they had any other combo of weapons and stuff like that, then we might have a shot at, at fighting these guys. But just the fact that they can get through our shields is is killing us. And the fact that it takes 45 minutes to charge up our engines is, let's say, less than ideal. So let's do this, because I'm not sure who goes where. And let's get out of here. That was that was terrible. Let's go to the distress call, because that always works well in a, in a Mantis ship. Promise to help. Well, we have a boarding drone. Doesn't that do something? I don't remember. I think it's just the three. The cloak, the ion, or the NG. So we're going to leave them alone. That was awesome. That's why you'll, you... That's why I tend to, to avoid distress calls unless I have an NG. Move in to examine the station. Scrap the machinery. Wow, we got something and didn't lose eight hull for it. Aid the civilian ship. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, jeez. Mind control? Are you serious? Okay, boarding drone, get in there. And... 
You're going in by yourself. <laughs> and he's going to damage our engines and then our weapons, which we don't really care about too much except for it's just more damage to our ship. Get back down there and contact the civilians and they ran away. Of course they did. Ah, things could be better. Me and Alvin are not doing a good job here. Good thing I played this on normal mode. I'd be dead by now on hard mode. <laughs> that first ship probably would have had, like, an attack drone or something. Like a like a boarding drone or something. Okay. Well, we got our 40 scrap, though. Um, we still... Basically, though, we need crew or weapons. Oh, and I, I don't know if you noticed. I've got another mod installed. I'll show it to you. You offer your assistance. Uh, yeah, we have time. Let's scan the planet, and we got nothing. Yeah, this mod shows me the next three jumps. It kind of saves me from having to use the paper for a lot of the run, which, honestly, I, I don't mind. The piece of paper is kind of kind of ganky. Um, we're going to attack this... No, we're going to accept their bribe, because they've got freaking mind control, and I've got two guys on my ship, and that was a big pain in the butt to fight that last guy. Intervene to defend the outpost. They've got hacking. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to attack... I'm going to defend the outpost simply because... Yep, they can't hurt me. So, boarding drone. If this goes in the... There you go. Um, this is going to be extremely boring. I'm not going to make you sit through it. I will be back when uh, it's almost over. Okay, um, a quick trip to the Kerbal Space Program four runs later because I was waiting for this guy to slowly dock down his, this guy's weapons one tick at a time. And we are about to explode this guy. We did get some... Uh, some dodge experience here. We got eight scrap as well, and thirteen scrap from the thing, so that's pretty good. But we got we got two dodges in that entire time. And look, there's a store here, so I'm glad I didn't upgrade anything. And let's see, this could change the run here. We could pick up a dude, um, an NG or a Zoltan. Neither one of these is a bad idea for someone to stay on the ship. Um. This, this ship also, if you notice, uh, if I get in the right menu here, only has one slot. And one of, the, one of the big questions in this ship is, what do you put here? Do you put a cloak? Do you put uh, mind control? Or do you put hacking? And I honestly don't know what's best. Um, I've, I've run a couple runs where I tried hacking. Because um, there's a cool trick you can do with the flagship. You can you can hack their cloak and then teleport your guys into the cloak. And as long as you can take care of their med bay via other means, like, you know, a couple flak guns or something like that. Um, once you've taken out their cloak, you can run right into the doors room because you've clo you've hacked that room and the and the doors around it are, are, are open and available. So that's kind of cool. Um, however, mind control gives you basically a fifth border. And cloaking, of course, just helps keep the ship alive. However, that's not a decision really to make in the first sector. Another possibility is the clone bay. Um, we've already got a defense drone. We've already got a boarding drone. We don't really need to worry about those. Um, I don't like buying crew. Crew are expensive, especially in the first sector. Um, even though it would be really nice to have uh, to have a third crew member. Um, but I think I'm going to buy a single fuel, and we are going to move on our merry way. Asteroid field and a ship with a med bay again. Okay, he basically can't hurt us, especially if I pull out the defense drone. And we do, though, have to go over there, which is going to be fun. Honestly, I think we're going to take the slow road on this one. Now we're not. We are going to go into your shield room. And hopefully... Good, it, it destroyed the right thing. And hopefully we'll kill this guy before the guys get done with the med bay. And that's bad. That's extremely bad. Bad enough that we're going to pull our dudes back. And they're going to go over there and 
Actually, no, they're going to go to the med bay. I hate to do it. The good news is we don't need the defense drone while he's attacking the drone bay. The bad news is, is now the drone bay doesn't have air in it. Which means we're going to have to lit the drone bay, get destroyed, and then wait for him to go to something else. Because we can't fight this guy in the drone bay and successfully kill him. Kind of wish I'd picked up that NG now. <laughs> now what we have to do is we have to kill him. And then you need to start fixing while you run to the med bay. And then as soon as you're healed, Alvin, you need to run back. Ugh. Okay, now that's done, but we're going to do this. Okay, we've, we've taken care of that, but he's going to destroy this. This is just terrible. This is like all the worst things that could possibly happen. Because now he's going to take out our doors and our oxygen, which we have said we can't heal. We can't fix those fast enough. Which means we're probably going to die again. Yeah, I should have picked up that NG. I think we have to run. This is, this is horrible. This is like the worst of everything is happening in this run. Okay, you get up there. And then you go there. See, so he's, he's probably going to fire another attack drone at me. Although, if he doesn't... Yeah, if we had a system repair drone... Yeah, he doesn't have any more drones. Which is terrible. For us. Ugh, I hate this. See, the, the mantises cannot fix the oxygen fast enough to, um, to, to actually fix it. See, if they go down here, let's, let's go ahead and try it. What the hell? If they can fix the oxygen fast enough so that they don't die, I'm actually going to try it. And if they fail, I'm just going to restart here. Get to the med bay. Oh, see now, now Alvin Lee has died, which means that, or I'm sorry, Fifth Horseman has died, which means that Alvin Lee is the only one left. So now he has to go fix this on his own, and he's never going to fix, well, he, he actually can fix the floor and doors. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to fix this. Then I'm going to fix the floor and doors, and I'll be back when that's done. And an asteroid just came in and hit my oxygen. <sighs> We're going to fix the boarding here. Or the drones, I should say. Then he's going to go here, and we are going to go back to that store, if we can get there. And pick up an NG. <laughs> We can't go back to the store, so we are going to escape. And hopefully find another store. Um, yes, we're going to do this. We are so going to do this. You are going to sit here for a second, let our shields get back up. There we go. Now you're going to go into the med bay. We're going to put out our defense drone. We're going to wait for him to be out of missiles. And when he is, then we're going to fire the attack drone, the boarding drone. And when that's done, I'll be back. Because we basically need to win this battle because we need the scrap. So I'll be back in about 20 minutes when all these missiles are gone and we've launched a, a boarding drone. 
Unless he missiles one of our critical systems and then we're dead. Well, that was moderately quick. He hit our drone bay and put a hole in the floor. But we've still got our defense drone, but now we can't use our attack drone. Which means this run has failed. And I don't think we have enough time to charge this up. Yeah, we've just lost. Um, Alvin Lee does not have enough time to charge this up. We're never going to get out of this fight. So he can't run back to the med bay and, and upgrade it. So we just lost. Yeah, good job. Okay, I'm going to start over. Um, I don't know how long it's been, but it's not been long enough that I feel comfortable leaving it at this. Plus, I'm on vacation next week, and I need to... Um, I need to... What's the word? Uh, get these FTL videos out because they're the easiest ones to do. So actually, most of this weekend is going to be FTL videos. So uh, fifth and Alvin Lee. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna rename anybody. It's just me and Alvin Lee. We're gonna restart. That was a dream we had. We're gonna attack the slavers. Now this is the kind of thing you want. They can't hurt us. They've. Yeah, this is beautiful. Okay, you guys, get into here. Why can't we have fought these guys last time? We'll just bring the defense drone out now. And we'll kill this guy. And we don't get a slave. Of course not. Oh well, what are you going to do? Okay, let's try this again. Onward and outward. We're already doing better than we were last time. Um, you know what? I'm going to buy the fuel. Simply because fuel is so important in this game. We can sell the Mantis pheromones, but I just want to do it just yet. I don't want to show up to the store with less than, you know, 50, 60 scrap. And 19 is less than 50, 60 scrap. <laughs> Attempt to download the ship's data stores. Again with the thing. Um, I think this guy's going to have all connected rooms. But it's just, we're going to take so much damage from our guys attacking the things. Let's go ahead and just scrap the ship. As much as I would like the information it holds. I do not want to, I do not want to have to fight that. Aid the civilian ship. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, good. We literally cannot hurt this ship. So we are going to sit here until our engines are up. Hoping to not take any damage. Thank you. You are absolutely awesome. Don't blow up. Okay, sweet. That was absolutely awesome. Oh, and it... Oh, okay. Air out of this room. Do not burn up my drone. Do not burn up my drone. Thank you. Go in there and fix that. Yeah, this ship is susceptible to so many things, including, obviously... Missiles hitting your drone bay. <laughs> Why is my air off? There we go. Yeah, just an ion weapon would be great for this guy. We could win this battle if we had an ion weapon. And there's a store that we're forced to go to with our only 27 scrap. Huh. Just an iron weapon or this flak weapon, which I think we can't get unless we sell the boarding drone. And I am seriously considering it. Seriously considering it. Mantis pheromones, boarding drone, flak one that we can't even use. This is probably a huge mistake. But that's how important flak is to me. <laughs> okay, we have to go here. So I think we're going to dilly-dally a little bit, and then we're going to come down here, and then go to the exit from here. So yeah, we definitely need to dilly-dally. Pledge to do what you can. A Mantis War Camp. Sure. 40 scrap. You know what that means. We can now have the flak. And the defense drone, if we turn off the thing. The one, the, the one 
And only nice egg. One, two, three. One, two. Yeah, we can go here and then up there. The one and only nice thing about this ship. Uh, we've waited a long time for this Federation scum. Look at that. He can't hurt us. Uh, you know what? Go up to here. Let's see what their interior of their ship looks like here. Two repair drones. Beautiful. Let's go in there and destroy them. <laughs> and then the people. <laughs> and the last guy will kill him. Oh, apparently that wasn't the last guy. There was there five guys on this ship? Apparently there are. I wonder if they sell burgers and fries. Switching my guys because fifth should be lower than Alvin. No, apparently he's not. Okay. And we got six fuel out of storage. Still no people. But that was pretty good. Oh, and now we have to turn this back on. Okie doke. We're doing better than we were, by far. Just having that scrap. One thing you can do in this ship to mitigate some problems is to pump one into the O2 and one into the med bay. Um, I'm not going to do that at the moment because I'm trying to uh, save my money for other things. Although having that flak is going to make things a lot easier. Uh, we reject your offer. And you can hurt us. The defense drone's not going to help. So we are going to teleport into your shields. We are going to run into here and then teleport into your shields. And then we are going to flack your weapons to hopefully take one of them out. There we go. One of your weapons is out. You guys got a lot of people on your ship. But we can pull our guys back if we need to. Um, it looks like, yeah, we're going to pull him back. And heal him. In the meantime, we're going to fire another flak into there to just make things harder. Oh, we should probably have our med bay on. Not that it's a big deal. It takes some longer, it takes the, the level one teleporter longer <laughs> to charge up than it takes the uh, med bay to heal our dudes. Or at least it's about the same amount of time, apparently. <laughs> okay, 21 scrap. That's better. Let's go ahead and heal up one more time and get on out of here. And we've got 40 scrap total. Again, I don't have any wants on this ship except one, two... Yeah, I think we're going to skip this distress call just because there's so many ways that that can end up being nothing. Okay. Huh, they took our they took our engines down. Oh no. Okay, again with the we need to flack that. And we're gonna take some damage. Actually we're not gonna take any damage because we're gonna turn our defense drone on. And we're gonna teleport into your shields. Apparently it's two rockmen. We took one of them down pretty far. Oxygen, are you serious? Yeah, we can't fight him. We've got to we've got to fix the oxygen before it becomes a problem. <laughs> we've got to keep shooting their weapons. Every any time that flat comes up, we've got to shoot. We won't shoot until it comes up. Okay, now you guys go heal yourselves. Just turn off our dodge because we're not using it anyway. Don't shoot my defense drone. Okay, now you guys go in there. And kill that guy. I thought that was a mantis, but apparently he's a human. Sweet. You salvage what you can from their ship. 
Oh, just every possible thing that could go wrong is going wrong in this run. Okay, 52 scrap. We need to get our engines back up. We can turn this back off, I guess. And one, two, and a half. One, two, and a half. When I jump here, they'll be here. When I jump here, they'll be here. When I jump here, they'll be here. And then I... Ugh. I don't remember how things go. We're going to go to the distress call first, even though I probably should have gone to the other one first. Ignore their request. That's, see, that's the why you do that. Yeah, because if we jump here... Yeah, we can go here. No, we can't. We have to go here and then the exit. I don't know why I have such a problem with that. Attack the automated ship to get to the station. Well, we used up our drone, so it won't matter. Oh, wait. No, we have a flak. What am I thinking? They can't hurt us, which makes me happy. So we're going to take out their shield first. And their engine, which is nice. So then we'll just keep pummeling that. Let's turn on auto fire. For once, a battle is going well. So well, I'm going to take a drink of my coffee. Nicely done, guys. You fought a ship normally, and we get a fire beam. Seriously doubt I'm going to use that, but I like them. I like fire beams. If I had four rockmen on my crew. Demand the surrender of their goods. Why, yes, let's do that. Okay, they are trying to get away. No need for the defense drone, so let's go ahead and get you guys over there. And we're going to put you in... Engines. And then we're going to shoot their weapons to take out that uh, burst laser, hopefully. Yeah, we gotta shoot again. There we go. And we'll kill this guy, and then we'll win. Swap the dudes, so we take roughly equal amounts of damage. And we got a guy! Tack, go fix that. Welcome to the crew. However, as we have said many times, your name is not Tack. Your name is... Blizzy! Welcome to the crew, Blizzy. You are you are instantly our pilot and uh, resident NG. <laughs> but you are going to the pilot's chair. You guys are going... I think Elvin is going to stay in engines and I am going to go to guns. But most of the time, all three of us are going to the teleporter. And we're going to go into our rebel-controlled sector because I hate nebulas. I hate him, I hate him, I hate him. I never want to go to a nebula, ever. Uh, the rebels have full control and are looking for us. Okay, let's get moving here. We almost have 100 scrap. Should probably start thinking about dodge, although in this battle, dodge doesn't matter. So we should think about teleporting into shields and flacking oxygen and hoping to hit... Or actually, you know what? Oh, too late now. Oh, it looks like we're going to hit the med bay, which is awesome. <laughs> Human had to run because that was uh, that was almost, ki almost killed you. I didn't realize that you were almost dead there, Blizzy. <laughs> you took a lot of shots in the back, I think, from that one guy. No big deal. You're alive. It's a mantis ship. That's kind of the way things work here. And there's a store here that we're forced to go to, but we do have 121 scrap. So, I'm going to say that's good. Now, picking up an NG is a good idea. I'm starting to feel... Uh, Zoltan Shield Bypass is almost required in this ship if you're going to use the... Um, if you're gonna use if you're gonna use the teleporter a lot, just in the, for that final battle, I'm just gonna pick it up now because it's such a good weapon. I seriously am thinking about picking up the NG. Uh, ugh, I hate picking up crew, but it's a boarding ship. 
I can also pick up Diana and then have a four-person boarding crew. Uh, we are going to skip that for now. Actually, wait. 